A video emerged on Wednesday appears to show Wagner founder Yevgeny Prigozhin greeting his fighters in Belarus in what would be his first public appearance since he led an armed rebellion in Russia last month. The Wagner leader criticized the Russian Ministry of Defense's planning and execution of military operations in Ukraine and suggested that his soldiers would not fight in Ukraine for now, but ordered them to gather their strength for Africa. The voice further perpetuated to suggest their stay in Belarus could be temporary and calls on his fighters to make the Belarusian army the second army in the world. After Prigozhin's speech, a man identified as Utkin then spoke to the men and welcomed his army to hell. Initially, Putin had said he would crush the mutiny, comparing it to the wartime turmoil that ushered in the revolutions of 1917. But hours later, a deal was clinched. Prigozhin and some of his fighters were allowed to go to Belarus. And since a deal was struck to end the mutiny, the Kremlin has sought to project calm with Putin chairing a variety of meetings and even discussing quantum computing and artificial intelligence. However, Russian officials dismissed Western interpretations and said that the West should not concern itself with such scrapes. Wagner was founded by Prigozhin and Dmitry Utkin as a way for Russia to get involved in wars in countries including Syria, Libya and Mali with full deniability. Wagner father helped Russia annex Crimea in 2014, fought Islamic State militants in Syria operated in the Central African Republic and Mali and lastly took the Ukrainian city of Bakhmut for Russia early this year with considerable losses on both sides. We On is now available in your country. Download the app now and get all the news on the move.